paused it an instant too late. Whatever. Happy Thursday, y'all. Uh, happy New Year, still. I'm going to keep saying it. I don't know why. I just like saying it. Happy New Year. Happy Renewal. Happy Renewal in Him. Pop. John 3.30. He must become greater. I must become less. Separate it out because, holy cow, that's not as short as Jesus wept. Which, uh, when uh, I was a kid, when we talk about memorizing Bible verses or whatever, be like, I've memorized one. Jesus wept. You'd be like, what verse and chapter is that? You'd be like, mm, I forget. Um, it's funny, I used to know. So it shows that I haven't even memorized that. Um, but quite short is that, right? Is this? John 30, 330. Not good with numbers, Brendan. He must become greater. I must become less. Now, part of God's deliriously sweet and cool plan is that he created us to be ultimately and fully fulfilled in him. And, but at some point, this is the ideal. This is the ideal situation. This is the ideal that lingers uh, in our mind, that leads philosophers to dwell on utopias, uh, Shangri-Las, etc. Um, for people, men to dwell on enlightenment or bliss or sainthood. We have fallen from that state. We are not in that state now. It is quite obvious. Although I feel like that hole in us lingers still. And a hole lingers in all of us still. If you look at the way everybody seems to behave, everybody's got some uh, addiction in their life, whether good or bad. Some addiction to gaining fulfillment from other people, uh, the affection of other people, that which they do, uh, love and approval of other people, and all wise thought points us to quite the opposite. And there is a wise thought in this prophet's speech right now. This is written in John, but this is spoken by John the Baptist, uh, who Christ himself, God made flesh, said uh, that many prophets were great, uh, but none so great as he. And I think really the mean way in which he meant that is that so many prophets spoke of uh, and waited for and hoped for um, a deeper deliverance, uh, that their covenant with God was delightful, but that the Lord had promised a deeper deliverance, a Messiah, uh, to their hand, to their land, and so many spoke of it, believed in it, hoped on it, and John was the one who spoke of it, believed in it, hoped on it, and then saw it, saw Christ before his very eyes. And in these words are, he must become greater, I must become less. Now, okay, God isn't, uh, in no way can we make God greater. Um, even as we are called to share his kingdom, we in no way uh, enhance the goodness of God through that which we do. We certainly can reflect the goodness of God in that which we do uh, as an offering, as a, as a sacrifice to him. Uh, no longer is blood required, but the lifeblood of that which we do, that a lifeblood of our selfless giving, the lifeblood of our humbling ourselves. So indeed, the sacrifice he requires is you, is yourself, not in a making dead way, but a making life way. Man, that is that is all of uh, of of Christianity in a very small nutshell, isn't it? He must become greater. I must become less. And indeed, can't we look at that uh, in, in all ways? I must become less, at the very least. Can we all leap on that one? And I don't mean to become uh, slothful and slugly, like the uh, sea slug they discover that is part plant and part animal. But rather, let us become less uh, in humility even as we are filled to the brim, 
filled to bursting with the weight of that rejoicing uh, bow us low when you when you're that full it's easy to bend over it's easy to just flop on over and bow your head uh, there's a metaphor in this uh, devotion talking about that uh, you know when sheaves of wheat as they as they ripen as they ripen and and grow and become uh, something far more useful uh, with, with every moment the weight of that allows their heads to gently bend and be blown by the wind we can learn a lot from plants <laughs> so let us be humble let us pursue this ideal daily for the glory of God in no way enhancing him but being enhanced by him and being part and parcel to the most beautiful storyline ever carved on the face of eternity and the greatest love ever given ever known Praise you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jehovah. Selah. Amen.